Hi class, we're going to go ahead and redo that demonstration we did in class where we added a button programmatically to our application. We'll go up ahead and set up a new project, call it Programmatic Button, and just to keep it simple we'll make it an iPhone application. We'll find a place for it to sit. And you'll see Xcode went ahead and created all of our uh, files that we need for this. Let's go ahead and select our app delegate and we'll find the method application did finish launching with options. Here we're going to add our UI button to the window. So first we'll go ahead and declare a UI button. And let's go ahead and use a convenience method um, and we'll do a traditional uh, rounded rec rectangle uh, button type. Okay, let's go ahead and set a, uh, some of the properties. So we need to set the frame and we'll do CG rect make, set our X offset, or Y positioning. Then we'll make the button 300 width by 200 high. We'll add a button tag and then we're going to set the title to it. We'll just call it my button. And for state, we'll just have it be for UI control state normal, which is the normal view that you would see. OK, we're going to set a target action for it. We'll set the target to self. The action, we're going to create a method called button touched. And for control events, the UI control event touch up inside. So now we're going to go ahead and add the button to the view. So we set our window and we're going to add the subview of the button. And now let's just quickly make a simple method here called button touched to make sure that we were able to receive that uh, touch event. And we'll just send a message to the console log and we'll say button touched. All right, let's go ahead and check it out in the simulator. Okay, we're receiving button touched. All right, well, that was a uh, very unimpressive uh, application. So let's go ahead and try to dress it up a little bit to make it a little more exciting. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a custom button using images. So let's drag and drop uh, two images I prepared into our project. Just drag them into the navigation pane, and it'll ask you to add them to your project. Go ahead and do that. So next, we are going to uh, comment out uh, our uh, button type rounded rec, and we're going to add a UI button type custom. Then we're going to comment out our button set title, since we won't have a title for it. And we're going to go and set a background image for it. So we'll use the method set background image. And we are going to use a convenience method to create a UI image. We're going to just do that nested inside of our, our method. And so we'll have a UI image, image named. And here we're going to use the normal logo, which is a black and white version of it. And we're going to have that be for the UI control state normal. So UI control state normal is the untapped button that you see. And then we're going to set, do the same thing. And this time we're going to set it for a uh, color version of the logo. And the idea is that when you tap the button, the colored version will give the illusion that you're actually depressing it. So we're going to set that for the UI control state highlighted. And one thing we want to make sure to remember to do is uh, if, to make sure that our button frame size matches the frame of our images. Um, so we know these, the size in advance. We'll just set them off 50, uh, put it at 50-50. The buttons are 150 by 161, so we'll do that and we'll go ahead and hit it in the simulator and see how it looks. Here we see our logo and when we tap on it, we get the red version of it. We're receiving our button touched event. And now our app is ready for the App Store.